right guys welcome back to the channel today is the day i'm gonna drop this drive shaft here it's just four eight millimeter bolts to take off these strap covers and then you let the drive shaft down here's my new um my new pinion yoke there's the old one it looks all worn out but i don't have any leaking going on so that seals good um, I'm just going to be very careful taking it off. I also ordered a um, three jaw puller. I hadn't had one. I've always had to go borrow one. So, you know, I figure huh, those days are over, you know, get your own. So, yeah, let's get started. Ugh. Now, I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me unscrew all four of these. So, um, once I get to it, or get them out I'll pick up from there all right so I've got the caps off or the straps so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and take this off of here now my front tire my front passenger side tire is chalked so and I also did um, engage the uh, parking brake which is also how you can tell right here how that's kind of sprung back it's not relaxed you can tell there's tension on it so same over there let me see here come on there we go so you can see the same as over there so anyway let me go ahead and try and uh, drop this drive shaft down and I'm just gonna set it I'm gonna try and put it on this tarp so these caps don't come off and get nasty all right so for anyone wondering, because I've seen a couple of people name off the size of that nut, and they're like, it's an inch and whatever. It's a 29 millimeter. I get so annoyed when people can't do just simple metric. But anyway, yeah, there's my 29 millimeter. Oop, upside down. So there's my 29 millimeter. I'm going to put it in my impact here. I was, I brought my... Um, breaker bar just in case I needed it but it was not it, it did not take a lot of force to break it I used my uh, half inch wrench so now I'm just gonna zip this thing off because I'm not taking 12 years to take that off so let's go ahead and zip this thing off here oh. okay come on there we go I just have the shittiest look sometimes. Really? Come on. Come on. Come on. I should have put a fresh battery on here. Come on. I'll be right back. Came right off. Huh. I should have filmed that. It was freaking awesome. But yeah, now I'm going to try and tap this off with the... Um, just a little rubber mallet. I've seen some people try and beat these off with their uh, steel mallets. And really, you're just... You're causing damage to the... Um, to those splines in there. When you beat on it like that and then you also risk the chance of bending the um what is that uh you got the ring at pinion the pin this is the back of the pinion right here so when you spin on it like the or i mean when you beat on it with uh something just as hard then um uh, you run the risk of bending and breaking stuff but yeah i'm gonna have to use my three jaw puller to get this off so, be right back. Alright guys, so a lot has gone by, a lot of time has gone by since I last filmed. Um, I had to go in the house. I was getting uh, heart palpitations really bad because, I mean, I got really hot. And then my uh, heart rate skyrocketed, but I'm fine now. But, um... I'm trying to get off of this road here because I think I fixed my vibration. 
what I ended up doing was um, essentially shimming where your uh, the straps go over the um, U-joint caps. I used the C-clips as shims that came with the kit. Um, I don't know if um, you're supposed to put snap rings or C-clips, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to put those where the strap um, uh, where the straps go over it. I thought it just goes in the yoke and that's it. I mean, I could be wrong. I've, ne I've never worked on a truck that you have the straps. You know, basically what you do is you have your four um, bolts that you remove from the uh, pinion and then you tap the uh, yoke loose because it's usually rusted on pretty bad and then it comes right off and then you've got four snap rings all the way around but this one is held on with two straps so um, I mean I've looked on other people's videos trying you know trying to see if there are any ring snap rings that come off I haven't seen any snap rings come off, so I can't say for sure whether or not um, it's supposed to have the snap rings on those straps or not, but um, so far, my vibration is pretty much gone. It's, it's just barely there. Like, it, it's acceptable is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, but the... Um, pinion yoke was the wrong one so the seller uh, the seller on uh, eBay put the information on there saying that it fits even though it does not I'm still relatively new to um, the super duties you know these diesel engines I, I don't know much about uh, diesels you know I'm learning as I go they're not hard to work on, I'll give you that much. But yeah, as you can see, I'm doing almost 50 miles an hour and the vibration is barely there. I mean, it's barely there. So, um, yeah, trying to pay attention not get ran over by a logging truck and another logging truck. Anyway, oh, let's slow down a little bit. There we go. I mean, it's barely there. And another thing I ended up doing is I ended up tightening up my um, preload. So, I, you know, you can adjust your preload on your pinion. And so that's what I ended up doing was tightening it up. Uh, tightening up that nut Because I'm sure over the years it's probably come loose. I don't know But I do know that this truck was mainly used for pulling horses. That's what the previous owner used it for was pre uh, pulling horses I'm planning on going into cattle ranching. So I mean I'm trying to get the truck uh, You know back to pretty much stock. I mean, I'm, of course, I'm putting some bells and whistles on it that it didn't come stock with but other than that you know pulling wise I'd like for it to be stock but uh, yeah I mean it seems like the problem is, is solved I mean the mirrors vibrating a little bit but I also have a bunch of dirt in my tires too and I know that can cause it but I'll give a little, uh, little update later on. I'll make another video later on down the road if it gets worse or if it gets better. But it feels like the problem's pretty much resolved just by me simply shimming uh, where those caps, uh, those straps go over the U-joint caps. Jeez, I can't talk. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. More updates coming soon. Later Gators.